They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Do you have it? One goal to be world champion. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley, and this is Global Guts. And I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship competition, let's go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. How's it look, Mo? Hello, Mike. Only one gold medal separates today's teams. Team UK is in second, while Team USA and Israel are tied for third. Who will move up? Who will grab gold? Let's get underway and find out. All right, and we're going to get underway by going to Airborne in Slamma Jamma. We're going to find out right here in this event with an elastic cord on our player's back who can thunder dunk the best. Let's go to Mo. Mo! Mike, each player will have 30 seconds to try and score as many baskets as possible while the other two players try to reject their shot. The player with the most baskets wins. On your mark, get set. <laughs> Up first with 30 seconds is BEM. That's B-E-M. As in magnificent. And boom. Oh, with the block. Mikhail from Israel with the block on that one. Oh, and BEM on his last two attempts. And he all the way off the bridge. All the way off the bridge. Also having trouble is Christopher. He's got six seconds. It's just, oh, didn't even get the shot off. As time runs out. So after gaining momentum at the beginning, having extreme trouble on his follow-up shots, let's go to Mo and find out the official score. Mo. Bem scored one basket. All right, one basket. So the Dodger in red with the Union Jack on his helmet, representing the United Kingdom. He's ready. On your mark, get set. He only needs two to take the lead. Let's see if this is one. And indeed it is. Up strong with power. They jump off that aerial bridge, they hit the ground and go, oh! And with the stuff right there, Bem not giving up. He's playing defense, even though he's lost the lead. But the Dodgers scores a third. Oh, and blocked again. A double team on that shot. They blocked it away. As the buzzer sounds, he puts that through the hole. We'll have to find out if that is official. Mo. It is. Chris scored four baskets. Looks like Israel's... Amorite Green is ready. On your mark, get set. The nickname is Amorite. It means a strong stone and strongly going up there with power for her first shot. But the two gentlemen are blocking those shots and now she's having trouble getting back up to the bridge. Now you realize she only needs one basket to score a tie with Bem. And Bem goes up and tries to block it, she scores it. So now she has eight seconds to get second place points. This will be second place points on the line. And indeed she gets it. She's now in second place. If that is official. And with the buzzer, we'll go to Mo. It's official. Mike Michal scored three baskets. So Chris is in first place. Michal is in second place. And Ben is in third place. Well, the Dodger took first, but he also had a little lesson in lunch. Bem playing defense after scoring one, knocked that one right back out of the way. And going up for second place points, Michal. Emirate Green threatened the needle. 
Jamma. Jamma. Israel's finest in Slam and Jamma. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Mike, first place in our event is worth 300 points, and that goes to Christopher from the UK. In second place with 200 points, Michal from Israel. And in third place with 100 points, Ben from the USA. And here's how it works. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. Now let's meet an American player who's on a mission to rise above the competition. Hey, Ben, Mr. Big, spill your guts. <laughs> I'm Bill Graff from Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. My favorite sports are basketball, baseball, football, and soccer. My favorite hobbies are coin collecting and basketball card collecting. I like coin collecting because they're cool and valuable. What makes a good athlete is determination, being physically fit, and the will to win. training nothing basic about it nothing in the world can compete with the training facilities of our killer course ladies and gentlemen our players will start up the wall climb and then make it across monkey bridge then they're gonna come firing down the slingshot and then they'll have to jam through the elastic jungle then up the cargo net they'll find the Tarzan rope at the top which they will swing across on and then finish up in the landing pad let's go to Mo for the rules Mo Mike, our players are timed from starting line to landing pad impact. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, Bem will set the pace right up the wall climb. He's firing the pace because he needs a good finish. Bem goes into this event in third place with 100 points. Oh, and right in. Little like break dance move through the elastic jungle. Nothing stopping this man. Bim up the cargo net, firm footing. <laughs> he was reaching out for a high five to the stud coordinator, and now he's into the landing pad. <laughs> he... The stunt coordinator had his hand up. He reached back, gave him a little high five, and continued the race. Let's find out the official time, Mo. Ben clocked in at 29.4 seconds. All right, 29.4 will be the time to beat our leader, Christopher, from Northern Ireland, up next. On your mark, get set. All right, and up Christopher shall go with easy steps across Monkey Bridge. He's got to keep his balance. Quick start he had, and he held his nose. Going down the slingshot. He must have been expecting a pool at the bottom of that. And into the Alaska jungle, you see the time to be 29.4. He's going to really have to pick up the pace on the cargo net, and he slipped. He slipped in the cargo net. He's trying to regain his composure. Doesn't look like first place points for him. Across the Tarzan rope and into the airbag. Landing pad. Holding his nose. We didn't get any water up it. Let's go to Mo for the results. Chris clocked in at 31.6 seconds, Mike. All right, 31.6. And Bem and Christopher talking it over. Michael is up next. On your mark, get set. She's from Israel, I've said, and her name is Miss Green, the hemorrhite. 29.4, the score to beat. She has 200 points. She's in second place. A little hesitant coming down the slingshot. But into the elastic jungle, she's making good pace. Finding the open holes at the bottom. And digging through, she's got about 10 seconds. Very, very slow through the elastic jungle. So here's where Christopher had trouble, but she made it across. She can still get first place points across the Tarzan rope. She's going for second place. Boom! Little cannonball in the landing pad. Let's go to Mo. Michal clocked in at 32.6 seconds. So Ben takes first place, Christopher takes second place, and Michal takes third place. Well, the Dodger was avoiding it all until the tangled web of the cargo net. He steps up and foot goes through. Precious second were lost. He had to beat a fast pace because Bem, Mr. Big, had gone before him and watched this dive. Yeah! Talk about guts. This guy was right into the elastic jungle, barreling through, and then doing a little rope a swing into the landing pad, and X marks the spot for 300 points. Let's go to Mo. 
Christopher from the UK is in the lead with 500 points. In second place is Ben from the USA with 400 points. In third place is Mikhail from Israel with 300 points. Oh, yeah. Well, we're just starting to stir up the competition. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we're punching the pool and doing a little touch it. Invisible boat coming up. You come back. Welcome back to Global Guts. Three players battling out for the goal, but right now it's time to meet a madman from Team UK all the way from Northern Ireland. Hey, Dodger, Lynn, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Christopher Lynn from Northern Ireland, and I'm competing in the UK team. My favourite sport is football. I play for Anton Town Boys. I also do snow skiing. I won these two medals for skiing. I think to be a winner, you have to do what you have to do. One of the best things about being here at Global Guts is representing Northern Ireland. Well, time to get your paddles moving for Invisible Boat. We're going to be jamming through some world-class water jets, but we don't have any boat. What we do have, we got harnesses, we got paddles, we got three very tough kids. Let's go to Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will paddle across the pool and back. They must touch the end of the pool to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Bam is up first, and what a push off for Mr. Pink. This man is flying. He's in second place going into this event, so he will set the pace with the touch right back. Let's see what kind of push off he gets for his return. And indeed, another good push off. This is when you combine your stamina with your leg power with your arm power and a rhythm and a cross in very fine form is bem mr big gar let's go to mo and find out the official time mo bem clocked in at 21.4 seconds our leader is up next that's christopher the dodger lynn here we go on your mark get set the dodger Let's see if he can dodge those water jets and continue to paddle his way across. He has come all the way from Northern Ireland and he wants to go home with the glowing piece of the Radical Rock. And right now, he's got about six seconds to get across and reach for the touch. And indeed, he missed right there. But I think he got it up. Maybe he got the touch. I don't know. Mo. We take the time from when their paddle touches the top of the pull, which was at 18.3 seconds for Excellent. Chris. Excellent. Up next will be Hammerite. Green from Israel, and she looks to be ready. On your mark, get set. All right, she needs a first place finish in 18.3. By beating that time, she will have it. Michael Hammerite Green. Across in less than half the time it took Christopher. She has 300 points. She needs this finish here with the touch at the end of the race. It's going to be close. Oh, no. But if that is the time, she might have second place points. We'll go to Mo and find out if that's official. Mo. Michal clocked in at 20.7 seconds. So that puts Christopher in first place, Michal in second place, and Bem in third place. Well, folks, Bem, Mr. Big, blasted off with the fantastic push. He set the pace in this race. I thought his time was going to be tough to beat, but the fact of the matter is we scour the globe for the best global guts athletes. Michal coming in there with the reach. She didn't get first, but she did get second. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard. Mo. Christopher from the UK is still in the lead with 800 points and tied in second place with 500 points each. Ben from the USA and Mikhail from Israel. So great efforts from all our players in Invisible Boat. We've got Dodge it coming up, but first it's time to get to know Mikhail Green from the Israeli team. Hey, Hammerite, spill your guts. Hi, my name is Michelle Green and I'm from Tel Aviv, Israel. The sports that I like are track and field, rollerblading, basketball, and gymnastics. My friends gave me this necklace for good luck at Global Guts. I'm very happy to be here. I've met a lot of great kids from other countries, and I hope I can represent my country with pride. 
You want to experience the thrill of dodgeball while skydiving? Well, in Dodge It, you'll get the chance. We're going to have balls plumbing at you from all different angles while you continue to plummet towards the ground. No playground in the world has dodgeball like the Extreme Arena. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Mike, players have 60 seconds to dodge balls thrown by the other two players. The player with the most hits on opposing players wins. On your mark, get set. So this is time for Purple and Blue to take on and battle. Our red player, Christopher, is in the lead by 800 points. And, oh, my. Christopher just banged one off Mikhail's head. 60 se seconds of utter chaos. Oh, yeah, look at that. Another score for Purple. You gotta have toughness, you gotta have body control, you gotta have accuracy. Right, but right now, in the lead is Christopher in red. Bam is really gonna have to catch those balls before he throws them at Christopher's head. Bam just took one off the top of the head. That bad, he just took another one off the head. Christopher's pummeling the guy. Christopher's pummeling purple. Purple in second. But Bem scores right there. The ball's flying from the top of the extreme arena. And with time running out, purple with the score off of blue. Blue catches it, fires it back, and misses. Let's go to Mo, find out the official results. Mo. Christopher came in first place, scoring seven hits, and tied in second place, scoring four hits each, Bem and Michal. So after slamming, basic training, and then the pool, you gotta take a few shots to the body. Look at Bem, bouncing it right off Miss Green, and then Christopher, the dodger. One, he catches another one, watch him take aim. Yeah, ring my bell, ring a ding off the helmet. Oh boy, that one hurt right there. And I talked to Bem yesterday, he's fine. Mr. Big, here's what he had to say. He tried out in Cincinnati. Describe for the folks at home what that was like. It was fun, and we had to do the obstacle course and, and jump on this big pillow. And did you find it hard to uh, like jump on a pillow like in a bed, you mean? No, it was like soft, really air airtight pillow. Airbag? Yeah. And you get the fastest time in Cincinnati, isn't that right? Yeah. And right now it's time to check out our leaderboard. Mo, how does it look now? Well, Mike, Christopher from the UK is still in the lead with 1,100 points and still tied in second place with 700 points each. Ben in the U from the USA and Mikhail from Israel. Well, folks, you got to dodge these balls and get out of the way because coming up now, the super aggro crash who survived the snow. Come back. Welcome back to Global Guts, where the action is far from over. Ladies and gentlemen, the outcome will be determined when they get to the top of the crag and the points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo. Check out our leaderboard, Mo. After four events, Christopher from the UK is in the lead with 1,100 points and tied in second place with 700 points each. Ben from the USA and Michal from Israel. That is where they stand. Here's the story of how they got there. We start off in Slam and Jam. And look at that block by Michal on Ben. Victory went to Christopher, the Dodger. Look at that thunder dunk. Two-handed and up. He got 300 bills for that. We go into basic training up the cargo net. Right there, that's Hemorite. Smoking across the Tarzan rope. But victory in basic training went to Ben. Look at Mr. Big get into the elastic jungle and battle through that raw toughness. And then we get into the invisible boat where Mikhail Hammerite Green went back in there trying to dig her way through invisible boat. Victory again went to the man from the UK. That's Christopher. And then we get into a little dodge it. They were throwing these dodgeballs off of one another and then winding up with a big throw was Chris from the UK. And ladies and gentlemen, he is in the lead as we go into the crag. And boy, this is going to be beautiful. First it was the aggro crag, then it was the mega crag, now the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through switchback 
bent, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, avalanche ledge, ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo, up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? Let's go to Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. And so now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. Will red take it or will blue and purple take over red and take home the guts gold? We're about to find out. Let's go get it started with Mo. Mo! On your mark, get set. The calm before the storm. The venomous vapors of Boulder Canyon trying to distract our players. And as they begin their climb, Switch back, Ben. Smoke, snow, boulders. Just running up the crag is Christopher. Christopher in red. And now Mr. Big. But look at Miguel. He's the last actuator. That's the ice wall. It looks like Christopher at the top. We're going for a silver medal. Who will it be? Stop in blue. Miguel. And purple. What a finish. Let's go to Mo. First place on the Super Agro Crag, Christopher from the UK. In second place, Ben from the USA. In third place, Mikhail from Israel. Oh, what a finish, Christopher, just walking up the crag. You see right here, Ben Vista Big. Yeah, going right up there, hitting those actuators as those boulders try to stop him. A little hesitant after that last rock came tumbling down. They all came tumbling down as all three of our players tried to get up to the ice wall. But victory at the top of the crag was going to the artful dodger, Christopher Lynn from the UK. Victory! Let's go to Mo for the final leaderboard standings. Mo! Here it is, Mike. In third place today, Michal from Israel with 1,075 points. In second place, Bem from the USA with 1,250 points. Our winner today, Christopher from the UK with 1,825 points. So an exciting conclusion to today's competition. The bronze medal will go to right here, Miss Green, Mikhail Hammerite Green. We'll take that back to Israel. The silver will go to Bam, Mr. Big Gar, representing Team USA proudly. Yeah, he attacked that elastic jungle, and he'll bring back to his hometown a silver medal. The global guts gold will go to Christopher, the Dodger, Lynn, on fire all day long. He will take back to Northern Ireland a glowing piece of our radical rock. You are now hearing the national anthem of the United Kingdom because Christopher the Dodger Lynn is victorious here in the Extreme Arena today. Three phenomenal athletes. Number one right there, the Dodger. These three superstars are gonna get a nice word of congratulations from their coaches and then with their flags around their shoulders, flowing in the air, they're gonna take a victory lap around the extreme arena. It's great to be a kid on Nickelodeon. No ifs, ands, or buts, these kids they got global guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.